the potential of young African leaders is, is off the charts. It's, uh, it's incredible, it's inspiring. You know, the clearness with which they see uh, the future that they want for the continent, for their countries, for their communities is, is unparalleled. At the mention of their countries, these young energetic scholars dance their way to the stage. They are thrilled to represent their schools and their countries at the 2018 Babab Summit hosted by the MasterCard Foundation for its scholars program in Kigali, Rwanda. <laughs> Through the Barbab Summit, the scholars have access to mentorship and skill development resources to increase their employability and effectiveness as leaders of change. Some are here to compete for the Resolution Social Venture Challenge, a competition hosted by the Resolution Project and the MasterCard Foundation to reward compelling young social entrepreneurs. These young entrepreneurs propose impactful, socially responsible ventures addressing social issues around the world during the social venture challenges. Of course, there are lots of problems in this world, but the one problem which can easily be solved is water-related problems. And our idea is to solve that problem. And I'm so happy that our project was being accepted because this will impact and affect lots of lives, lots of people who are dying from water-related diseases. Um, our venture is Gumfoot. Um, it's a venture that is based in our community in Western Gambia that seeks to dispel the notion that agriculture is for the poor and the destitute of our communities and improve food security. Oh, it's, I think it's a great opportunity for us to represent the problems that our community are facing and how we are planning to solve them. This was the beginning of a three-day rest for this group of 31 undergraduate teams. Each one worked towards getting the Resolution Fellowship in partnership with MasterCard Foundation. The fellowship includes seed funding, mentorship and access to a network of innovators seeking global change through high-impact community projects. I feel so happy to be a part of this group because I see different projects that people are presenting and I think all of us, despite if we lose or win, we are a part of winners. Ranging from agriculture, health, education, social development, among many other fields, they submitted their ideas in a multi-stage process. This helped them fine-tune their proposals in preparation for the final round of presentation before a panel of expert judges who would later select the winners. I think it's a great idea to give um, young people this opportunity because sometimes young people they have the idea but they don't have um, access to information or access to funding and to give them this platform where they can bring their ideas and have a fellowship with mentorship and funding to grow their businesses, I think it's a great thing. It has really challenged me for that. It made me to think about some of the questions I, that I was asked, it made me to think about things I've never thought about, things I think are really going to be really important for me to, um, really important for my business to succeed. Coming in, I was thinking of this as a competition but at the end of the day, it has become a, a platform for me to learn and gain other ideas from businesses who want to meet the same, um, who want to meet the same needs as I. 
Guided by their four principles of collaborating, inviting, awarding, and supporting, the Resolution Project and the MasterCard Foundation has seen scholars actualize their social ventures. Such is Uganda's Sparky Dehydrators. The team of two MasterCard scholars and two non-scholars were among the 2017 winners. They now run a vegetable and food drying machine in Kampala, Uganda. Just close this up. Sparky is the greatest innovation we have ever come up with as a team. Um, it's a machine that can do miracle using simple um, technology. Like uh, it can dry crops 10 times faster than the sun and using charcoal instead of um, electricity or anything else. The intention of Sparky is to reduce the losses which is there in the market, uh, in the food system, and improve the livelihood of a small older farmer. <laughs> As the young people get inspired through such social entrepreneurship, so is their engagement in making positive changes in the world. And the character of leadership infused with social responsibility is also impacted on them. The potential of young Afri African leaders is, is off the charts. It's, uh, it's incredible, it's inspiring. Um, you know, the, the clearness with which they see uh, the future that they want for the continent, for their countries, for their communities, is, is unparalleled. And it's, uh, it's always so inspiring to be around them and to share with them a vision for what they want. I always say that uh, the, 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 the Social Venture Challenge and the MasterCard Foundation Convening is a place to inspire and a place to be inspired. You know, this is the third time I've been attending this program and I've definitely been inspired by a lot of colleagues of mine and I'm sure I have done the same to other colleagues. So all of that makes me believe that uh, the future is bright and that these young people are going to uh, really make a huge impact not only in their own lives but in the lives of their community and in the lives of, of others in their country. Of the 21 teams that made it to the finals, 15 teams were announced winners, marking the largest number of scholars ever selected through the previous challenges. What this means to me is that now this is a time to work. It's time we all, we had all this in mind and it's now time now that we've won to do exactly what we've been saying. I feel so special. I feel I carried a, a, something which can bring a real life impact to many young people. So I feel I'm representing many and not alone.